plus two. They just got two terrific players. Here are your second half highlights. Cody Dwyer, he ends up with 13 points. Got in some foul trouble, but in the low post, he was pretty effective. Yeah, I thought he did what he needed to uh, in this game, scoring the basketball, rebounding it, and, and being a defensive presence. Jackson Gunville nearly gunned his way back into this ball game for Minot State. Yeah, hit some big threes, three of them. Had a couple others that just rimmed out that really would have made this game interesting down the stretch. Minot State again, all the credit in the world. They hung tough. Parker Fox, as you mentioned, may not be efficient from the free throw line, but certainly efficient from the field and efficient on defense. Well, he is such an intimidator at the rim, and then he shoots a high percentage because he gets great looks. And I tell you, the other thing that impressed me is how well he passed it a few times in the second half. And then Mason Stark, he leads Northern State with 22 points, second straight game in this tournament that he kind of quietly has led the team in scoring. Yeah, and it kind of has been quiet. It's not like he just goes off all of a sudden. It's, it's through the course of the game. And just great efficiency from a guard scoring, you know, 22 points on 15 shots. That's awesome. Here are your final numbers. Northern State shooting 46%, holding Minot State to 36%. The threes, they were falling early. Northern State doesn't end up with a lot of them, however, and obviously free throws stick out. A combined 52 attempts, that slowed things down considerably in the second half. Minot State a little bit more of an advantage in the paint, but in the end, Northern State, I think, just kind of built this lead and, and just kind of held them off. Yeah, they did, and they controlled the tempo of the last eight minutes of the game and, and, and really limited the possessions in the game, too, which made it really difficult for Minot State to try to make a comeback. It will be Northern State and MSU Moorhead. Their travel partners, their rivals, they split a series just one week ago. The only blemish on Northern State's record.